flying to Europe today, a new airline, Tap Air Portugal. I just received a message on Instagram from my friend saying, hope you're not disappointed flying Tap. It's one of the worst in Europe. Let's see how it goes. This is really weird. I came down to the United Club. As you can see, the whole lounge is dead. There's no lounge attendant, but the doors open as so I came down. And like a ghost lounge here. And no food, no drink, no service, no people around. Strange. I felt like this is getting a little bit creepy and there's no one around. And, and I'm a little scared, honestly, in case something happened or some wacko will come out or serial killer, I better leave the lounge. Right now, uh, for international travel, sadly the Polaris and this club lounge seems like closed. There isn't any lounge for international travel at an international terminal. There's a bit of hot mess at the gate here. All this COVID verification, all this document checking is holding up the boarding. It's actually their first flight back to San Francisco after 10 months. First flight in 2021 for TAP to return to San Francisco. Beautiful. Nick. Okay, Have a good finally night. cleared the bar. All right, thank you so much. Have a good See night. See you next time. Bye. Hey, hello, bonjour. Hello, how are you? Here's my. Here's seven. Hey, thank you very much. Nine Okay, thank, thank you. you. Oh my God, I have the worst seats ever because there's no window here. I have to lean forward to look out. So this is nine A. The last seat in business class, this is not recommended if you want a window view. So there's a seat in front of me, it's free. I managed to change to 8A here. The only problem here, this seat has better views, two windows. The only problem is really, really close to my neighbor if you chose the aisle seats. So the window seats are the best, except the last row. I hope, I surely hope to make you famous. <laughs> Thank you, that's what we needed. How's the seats like? Oh, um, oh great. Pretty good? They are very clean because we use the hand sanitizer and you we wipe down. them, wipe them down all ah, the way. Yes. Okay. Okay, there's actually a, a empty row here. You know? know, you should come here so you can have a whole row. You can sleep. Be nice. you can sleep. How she's taking this row here, and now you have the whole row, and I broke you guys up. On the other hand, I there you go. I'm, I'm actually making a video, so I'm making a video on this flight. So it's for my uh, channel, for my YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So actually, I believe this is like a economy plus sitting in the first few rows. So if you happen happen to be assigned this few rows here. There's a little bit more like room in the first section of the economy, I believe. Joanna. I love this. This is like a Christmas jumper, the blue and green, the green one. I love it. Like everyone's wearing black suits and then you have the best one, right? I love the colors. Totais, 10 hours and 20. Olá, boa tarde. My name is Pedro Mota. I'm captain with uh, Tapper Portugal. And I'd like to introduce my crew, Captain Pedro Venancio. Hello. And also, so, first officer, the Hi, hello. Bayon. We are almost ready to start our flight to, to Lisbon. Today, we'll, our flight time will be 10 hours and 20 minutes. And we'll, uh, after takeoff, fly north until the north of Canada. Then all the Atlantic north towards Lisbon. So our flight level will be 39,000 feet today. During the cruise will be Mach decimal H2. TAP is the first airline in the world, right, to have A330 NEO. So what exactly is all this NEO about? We can save some fuel and also we fly faster and uh, the more silence also. So it's a much uh, more comfort, a comfort airplane to the passengers and crew. <laughs> What's your favorite airplane, Captain? Uh, it's definitely it's the Alton 11, the Loki TriStar. Oh, I saw it on the sticker on your suitcase, right? Yeah, yeah. Have you flown the TriStar? Yeah, I flew it back in 1998. We are now ready to start the start of flight, just waiting for our load sheet. I have the information from the ground staff, more five minutes, and we'll be ready to start our flight to Lisbon. Enjoy the flight, thank you. 
so we're finally on our way after 50 minutes behind schedule and hopefully the subsequent flights will run smoother after this first flight airport 2236 have you in 200 21 runway one right We are uh, cruise flying over Minneapolis, uh, flying in the Midwest, uh, heading to Canada. Uh, we, I started my career in, in Mozambique, uh, in East Africa, back in 1994, where I got a job as a um, bush pilot. Uh, so I, I went to the north of the country uh, for two years with a Cessna, where I flew a Cessna 402 as a bush pilot flying under difficult conditions and in remote areas. So uh, as you remember, we used to have the A340. I used to organize all the um, uh, school stuff and educational stuff to help the kids and to, to supply with the kids in Africa, in Mozambique and all other countries. So uh, we put all the cargo in the, on the belly on the A340 and with the smaller aircraft that we hired in, in, in South Africa, we flew all the stuff right and direct into the bush to supply uh, all the kids and youngsters there. Would you like to try this sparkling, Portuguese sparkling wine? This is Portuguese? Yes, it is. Sparkling wine? Okay, yeah, sure. Just got my uh, glass of wine and the service definitely is very slow. I don't know why it, why it took them so long to serve a meal. The food and the drink, the wine, are probably the best thing so far on this flight. The food are very good. The portions are good. Um, the Portuguese red wine go with the steak, very good. This one? Yeah. All right, thank you. Would you like any wine? No, I'm good. Can I get your dessert? Yeah. And try our Porto wine. Oh, Porto wine from Porto Portugal. Wine. Yes, from Porto. Oh, okay. The road. Thank you. Enjoy. It's been a long day, so uh, I'm gonna take a nap. Um, this sits here, same as any one to one Your feet go inside a box. Because all the one to one staggered, essentially it's 2 4 2, because it's all staggered. So, again, a little bit narrow, the pros and cons, but uh, it's long enough for my feet. I'm six foot one, so it's long enough for me. Bom dia, here we are cruising at flight level 410 over the Atlantic in Santa Maria airspace and our landing in Lisbon will be uh, in about one hour and 30 minutes. That's the most western point in Europe, as you can see over there. So it's our, it's our anchor.
retard, retard, reach seven. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 So that was such a beautiful landing into Lisbon. The weather was great. And they have a bridge, just look like Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. What a coincidence. So is TAP one of the worst in Europe? Well, I would say TAP is actually one of the most affordable airline transatlantic. It's one of the cheapest airlines. If you look at the fare, if you buy in advance 14 days out or 21 days out, you found very low fare. The planes are brand new. In fact, they ordered over 20 A330 Neo, right? They were expanding fast pre-COVID, going to uh, not only South America, but also to the US. However, COVID hit them really hard. And a lot of planes they have is currently parked on the ground. So the timing isn't great for TAP, but I can see TAP is developing and rebranding themselves, connecting in Lisbon between Europe and the US. That's the key market they're after. So San Francisco to Lisbon is my first flight. Next week, I will be visiting one of the most challenging airport in Europe, or perhaps in the world. This is in Funchal, Maldera in the Atlantic. There's a lot of variable wind on the final approach, which can cause you to go around and maybe unsuccessful to land. So let's take on this flying adventure together next week.